Shifting focus now, a case that was seen as a catalyst in Australia's Me Too movement has been aborted. A former advisor was accused of raping a colleague inside the Parliament House. But after a 12-day trial and five days of deliberation, the jury has been discharged. A routine cleanup of the jury room found that one of the members had looked at academic research on sexual assault. Now, remember, all juries are only allowed to produce a verdict on the basis of the evidence presented inside the courtroom. I chose to speak up and share my experiences with others. I told the truth, no matter how uncomfortable or unflattering, to the court. Former Liberal staffer Brittany Higgins accused Bruce Lerman in early 2021. Now, let us tell you what has come to light so far in the trial. Lerman and Higgins both worked in the same office. On the 22nd of March 2019, they both had an out-of-office party with other colleagues, after which the pair shared a common cab to the Parliament House. Higgins claims that she fell asleep on a sofa in her head's office and woke up to find Lerman having unconsensual sex with her. The former advisor has denied these claims, but has chosen not to give any evidence. Interestingly, the abort comes two days after jurors told the court that they had been unable to reach a unanimous decision, but were asked by the judge to try again. It is not yet clear if there will be a retrial, but the justice has set aside a date in February in case that this happens. Now, if a retrial takes place next year, it will mark two years since Higgins first went public with her allegations. Her interviews last year reignited criticisms of Australian politics as a hostile workplace. Obviously, everyone's disappointed by what's happened, but it would be inappropriate and irresponsible to say anything at this stage. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.